Time to get our asses out there. But I stand corrected because I thought that I wasn't going to get to see the outside world. Because it'd be a different time. Although, does it actually look different? No. It even has the same wood, which... I don't know. How, how, how big is the time skip? I don't remember. But wood is less permanent. Ugh! Ugh! That felt glitchy. That felt weird. He normally disappears into diamonds. Not just out of existence with no sound or visual. Hear me, my hordes. The spell is nearly complete. The Demon King returns. Until then, you will keep that whelp from interfering with my ritual. I don't care if the whole lot of you get lodged on the side of- on the end of his blade. You will buy me the time I need. Do not fear him. Fear my wrath if you fail or whatever it said. Really funny if I could just run past them all. Wee! Let's see if it stops me. There's even these plants everywhere. This is <laughs> the stamina things are. Oh god. Okay, that's a lot of them. Awkward. See it. I really was expecting more barriers that only go away when you defeat them. Oh, there's one maybe. Stop screaming at me, it's off-putting. Oh my god, there's so many! <laughs> Is this a Dynasty Warriors game? <laughs> Hyrule Warriors makes a lot more sense all of a sudden, doesn't it? Like, this looks like a Hyrule Warriors level. They're definitely on easy mode. This is some Dynasty Warriors peon AI. They don't- the, the whole- the whole point of these guys is that they block attacks, but these guys kinda guy just don't, actually. Oh! My god. They got bombs now! Oh, I thought they were blowing themselves up, but they, they do throw them at you and say yeet! <laughs> Oh. Bombs! <laughs> Did all the ones back there just explode? I didn't even do anything to them. Pretty much took themselves out, honestly. I don't need no Z-targeting where I'm going. And then I immediately see target, but you know. Oh. Oops. No! It's not what I wanted to do. There were those shields just break eventually and you just beat on them. I specifically stopped swinging my sword to then do a counter. But the game interprets that as you wanting to do a spin attack, because if you- it registers as both things moving at once, and I'm like, no, damn it! Ah. Have you considered not being alone, you weirdo? You fool. You cretin. Anyway. Uh-oh. I'm tired! Uh-oh, bomb! Oh, bump. <laughs> I 
<laughs> they sound, they definitely say yeet. You can't, you can't argue with me. Is this really, is the spiral this long? Maybe it is. I feel like we're already there. Oh no, a blue one. The most threatening thing of all. I like how it keeps getting escalating threats and then they're just like, and this one's a blue one. <laughs> it's like, that's their escalation? One blue one? Maybe he is more dangerous, I don't know, but it's just... Visually doesn't read as very much of an escalation. Where are you going? You running away? Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, what? Yeah, well, it wasn't much of an escalation. Hey guys, if you could please just blow each other up, I'd be more than happy with you. Worked out so well before. Are the archers gone? I guess there's horn guys now? I actually don't know what the horn guys do. Suddenly, skeleton dudes. Maybe they summon more dudes forever or something? Stop running from me! I don't want to spend stamina chasing you. They're dead. I, didn't, I barely had to fight them. There you go. I guess part of the trick here is that I actually don't have to fight the previous... Yeah, I actually don't have to fight all the guys I ran past, do I? I think I only have to fight the guy that spawns when the gate spawns. And if that guy goes down, then I... Oh god. Uh-oh. That's a lot of arrows. Oh, barrier. Rupee, no! One rupee, what will I do? I'm so sad. Uh, I guess I couldn't jump at him. Alright, the running's getting a little awkward. Like, if you don't want to fight me, I guess you can just leave. Hey, <laughs> he missed! Yeah. They read it as me wanting to do a spin attack again. That's not what I meant. Oh, was this already open? Whoops. Okay, we get it, dude. You like diamonds and Fibonacci spirals. Goodbye, frame rate. <laughs> it is a dice warrior scam. Rude. Anyway, that was the one blow you guys get to land, so I hope, I, hope you, I hope that was worth your, like, hundred deaths. You're far too quick, boy. I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? Hmm. <laughs> Premise of the sentence assumes that I'm on your side. You petulant brat. You've pushed me too far. 
I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment. You know what? Fine. If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. You really should have killed me in the first fight when I didn't know how to fight you. This time, there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before, but I won't make that mistake again. That, I promise. Weird platform. It looks like a roguelike. Like a real roguelike, where it's all ASCII symbols and shit. If only put... I'd put you in your place from the very beginning. Show a human a little mercy, the next thing you know he thinks himself your equal. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity. So I let you run with your life. Twice even. Such a guilty pleasure. But instead of scurrying away like any creature with a basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back again and again. And again. I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time. You stand before a demon. Or should I say, a weapon without mercy. Is he like the anti fee <laughs> For you, boy, I've prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you, and when I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit and stuffing you and snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve as fine sustenance for the Demon King. I think he's mad at me. So. Oh, we're not doing that. Fall off your platform. There you go. Well, that actually worked. <laughs> I just noticed the amount of... I noticed the amount of, uh, knockback he was getting and thought, I think I can knock him off this. Nope. Bye. I hate, to fa I hate to tell you this, but your super form is easier than your other forms. You're the one- I'm the one doing the endless plunge so far. Gotcha. Thrust. Ah, uh, it didn't do it. There we go. Now, come on. Why isn't it working? Work! I'm shaking my left hand. Like, a lot. And it's doing nothing. There we go. 
Oh, that's different. What? Oh. Can I not get back at him or something? He is an anti fee because he does that. Ah, fuck. What? What? Could work. There we go. You wretched brat. Oh. <laughs> I studied geology because I wanted to look at Claymore. Ow, shit. Am I just breaking it? Ow. Out. Yeah, I am. Work shield. Uh, I hate that. I hate that the shield is motion controls and not a button. There we go. What? No, I w I held my right hand completely still. That was not a fucking spin. God damn it. Oh, why can't I just press the trigger or something to use the fucking shield? Go! No! That was left hand, not right hand. Ugh. Motion controls are way too subjective. I did left hand. I don't even know what happened there. He like missed me without hitting me, but like I didn't block it or dodge it. I don't know what happened there. This is infuriating. God damn it. No. Uh. Work. Mm. I why did my right hand do a thing? My right hand was motionless and I was shaking my left hand. It's not fucking ambiguous. It's really clear which thing I'm doing. Jesus. <laughs> this. This is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? <laughs> ah, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to savor. While we fought, the ritual I started continued. At last, it's complete. The Demon King shall devour the soul of the Goddess and resurrect in his full glory.
No. No. Not again. It can't be him again. Okay, he's gonna transform into not this. Don't you see? It's all over. You and your kind have lost. This world and everything in it now belongs to darkness. They belong to my master. Welcome back to us, Master. I was gonna say that's not very thankful, but I think he's just gonna turn into a sword. Because they glimpsed that earlier. Also, if that's not Ganondorf, he sure looks a lot like a version of Ganondorf. Like an Asherah's Wrath Ganondorf. That's a big sword. So you are the chosen knight of the goddess. Intriguing. The goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic. This bag of flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. Don't worry, Box Grus has got this. He is dead. Fox, I... I caught her. She's okay. <sighs> hmm. So you and that other human would stand before obliteration to aid the goddess, would you? How curious. The humans I've known were weak things, hardly more than insects, shivering under rocks and ready to flee at a mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess, Mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think those cowards begot someone like you. You grow more fascinating by the second, human. I never imagined I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand against me in battle. Very well, then. I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. If you will 
If you still have the courage to face me, seek me there at the Cell Games. <laughs> Fox, it's all on you! Oh, and listen up, Granny had some info for you. The old girl says it'll take time for that grease wad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing, you might still have a chance. Are we going somewhere else to fight? Are we not just gonna fight now? I, I know you can do it. So yeah, you got this. You're all Zelda's got. You got, you gotta make this happen. Like on one hand, getting more, re getting a chance to get resources again after that stuff would be useful. But on the other hand, narratively, it feels like we should be more in a kind of a hurry to defeat him immediately. If you fear for your life, do not follow me. You can spend what little time your world has left cowering and crying, as befits your kind. But if you truly desire to raise your blade against the world I would build, come for me. I've waited eons to return. I can spare a few more moments to let you decide. Hmm. Ah, it's probably a portal that's right there, so I probably could jump in right now. Might want to collect healing items for sanity's sake. It's up to you now, Box. I think I lost two fairies. And I have low health. That was not ideal. Yeah, I only have one fairy left. Ideally, I'd put some better stuff on real quick at this point. Oh. Master Box, I have important information for you. Once you enter this portal, my analysis indicates a 0% chance you will be able to return unless you are able to vanquish your foe. Ah, that second part of the sentence is really important. <laughs> are you ready to proceed? No. I wasn't even walking into it, Fee. I wasn't even in the purple yet. Let alone the actual portal in the middle. You put the save point behind it, Fee. Not you, not, well, not Fee, the designers. But I, 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 because she's the tutorial character constantly, I can't help but think of her as the uh, designers in, per, in person. Wait. Hang on a minute. Groose can come here? I mean, I guess Sheik. Not Sheik. Uh, Impa came here, so I guess Groose can come here. It, that is not really a reason not to. It just feels like such a special thing to the time travel. And having having him just show up here, it's, it, it, it's like, oh. Oh, yeah. I, I, I guess he can just walk through here. Gear him. Well, I don't know how tra time travel works necessarily, but... Garyham did kind of give us an advantage here in that he teleported into the past, which uh, means we kind of have like infinite time to solve the problem because we could just go back to the future and or not actually I don't know I was thinking like we could just go back to the future and do infinite setup then come back to this time and then try to fight it again, but I if depending on how you process timelines you could think oh so Gruss is back up here. You could think that, like, if I go into the future right now, I doom us all instantly, potentially, because I leave this past in a state where we lost. So, actually, things got really confusing. Phew, that was way too close back there. I got a serious sweat going. Could you imagine what would have happened if I hadn't pulled off one of my famous Groose maneuvers to catch Zelda? I'll stay here and make sure she's protected, so don't worry about her one bit. Just get out there and clobber that demise creep. I'll make sure she's protected. She's already dying. She has, like, no one's coming for her now. It's already, she's already lost. There's nothing. I guess you're protecting her from, like, a Bokoblin showing up or something. I'm counting on you, Box. We all are. Oh. 
Do not panic. Zelda is fine. She rests in the back room of the temple. I never expected Demise would rise again. It seems now that the fate of the world rests solely in your hands, Box. Alright, well... It's gonna be a quick trip to... Oop. The Skyloft, no? Oh, you don't do the sword thing here. You just click on it. We're gonna use potions for once, because... Brewing potions is faster than, uh... Trying to remember where any fairies are that I can collect. So that's gonna be the strat. No. So Demise has already been resurrected. If we do not stop him, this world is doomed. I have no other words for you, Box. Know now that you are the sole hope for the survival of this land. The danger is overwhelming, but you must persevere. You must save our world. I do wonder how the fuck this game works, time-wise. And Zelda as a franchise, I guess, in a, number, in a number of ways. We've been over that a little bit. But it was just like the question of like, uh... Uh... Like... <laughs> do the two Impas we know exist in two different parallel universes? Whoa, these things are still here. And if so, which old Impa, which timeline does she exist in uh, as far as good and bad go? I wonder. Is there a bird statue around here? How do I how do I get back to the sky? Oh, because these vents take you back upstairs. It's trippy being here. Or if they exist in the same timeline continuously. Like, am I con am I constantly just going back in time and editing the history and therefore and memories of old Impa, and she's like just recalls a different life all of a sudden? Because over and over again, between me and uh, and Girahim, we're constantly changing her past, which has to be either incredibly confusing, where you keep having weird like, uh, what's it called? Deja vu sort of moments where like your your recalling of your own past keeps changing and you're and you're conscious of it and you keep getting echoes of, of other timelines and being confused a little bit. Or she has absolutely no idea that anything has ever happened in any way because she just has one the other her is completely overwritten instantly and she immediately doesn't remember anything from that timeline. Which itself is oddly like one of them would be more I mean, that's, that's scary. Like, one of them would be more disorienting and maybe a little scary in person, but the other one's more, like, tragic and distressing in an overall scale, because you think about it in terms of, like, oh, you, essentially that other Impa ceased to exist every time you delete her from the timeline and replace her with a slightly different one that has different memories. The one that experienced that goes away. Which is one of my favorite dilemmas brought up by Doctor Who with the episode The Girl Who Waited. Which, I don't- I never hear anyone talk about that episode, so I don't know if it's actually anything approximating a fan favorite, because I don't know the community or anything, or what people care about, but the premise of that episode, I think about it all the time, <laughs> with time travel storylines. Uh, so it, it's definitely my top ten episodes of Doctor Who, just in terms of, like, ones that I think about all the time, which is basically the same thing as saying their quality. That's pretty much the primary value for sci-fi in many cases is how much time it spends cooking inside my brain, like 15 million merits. That's enough about that. Alright, next episode prep. <laughs>